Right, so my latest addition to my garage has been the run of Toronto. I hate this thing. I have played four games, 1.1k DPG, and 0% wins. It is an absolutely outstanding tank. The problem with this tank, mainly, is the gun. The fact that it doesn't hit anything half the time. And you cannot intuition out a full clip, obviously being an auto reloader, when you kind of really want to. Because the actual am ammunition loadout of this tank is that you get very, very nice APCR, not so fast heat rounds, but they have 325 pen, so it's manageable. Like, no one's going to say that 325 pen heat is bad. But when you get into those close quarter battles, you want to have the heat. And because this reload time is so long, you have such little DPM, you just, it's hard to actually like time everything correctly. And if something happens that you need the APCR for, that you need the heat for, it's sometimes just the case that you just don't have it and it's just not possible. It kind of sucks that you don't have the two like ammunition slots at the start. Obviously I don't have anything on this tank. Um, but if I had two ammunition slots where I could actually pick and choose, I would go full heat on one of them. Like, j I would just ignore AP entirely. The other really quite annoying thing about this tank, besides accuracy and whatnot, is that you don't really get a lot of ammo. Meaning that you will never, ever, ever fire HE. You should never take HE in this tank. Although that it is amazing, like this is some of the best HE in the game, you can't take it. You don't have enough rounds. And... You don't have intuition. Like, it's just not worth taking anything. It's exactly the same for all the other Italian auto reloading heavies. Like, or, or just Italian auto reloaders in general. Like, if it doesn't, if it can't quick switch into that HE when you need it, it's not worth having. Because by the time that you load, you sit there and go through 14 second reload. But at that time, you're like, well, great. You know? And also you can't then intuition, let's say that you have a full clip of AP. Right? You intuition out, you load the first one, great, you have one shot instantly ready, and then you just go back to that 14 second reload. Or 15 second reload if you want to conserve that round after you if you don't want to fire it instantly. It's like it's such an awkward thing to use. The other thing about this tank is that it has zero armor. And I mean zero. If they have 330 millimeters of heat pen or 340, 350 heat, you know, you go up and up and up, it doesn't have armor. It just doesn't. Like, there is no armor here, no armor here. There is a weak spot on top, which is a little tiny, like, pyramid thing, which is penable by absolutely everything, including AP, um, which is nice to see. Don't get me wrong. But, like, what's the point of firing at it when everything else on the turret is just paper? <laughs> so. And this thing is, this is after it got buffed. So I'm, I, just, I hate this thing. But we're going to play some games. Hopefully they'll go better than we already had. I mean, can't possibly go worse. We are using HP Turbo Stab because, I mean, what else are you going to use on a heavy tank? Um, you can't, you know, it goes at 45, which is the only kind of redeeming feature about this tank. Um, it doesn't even get a lot of hit points. Um, that's 2.2k with a HP boost. It, it, you can't get rid of the stab. You can't get rid of the turbo because it just boosts it up even more. You can't get rid of HP because it needs the HP. Like, there's no room for any other equipment choice on this tank. Um, I wouldn't even advise you go like vents and ditch one of the others because it's just not worth it to ditch HP or turbo on this. And there's no, there is no way you're getting rid of the stab. So... Let's go play some games. Well, I'm going to load heat straight away because here we are on Siegfried line and this is going to be something where I'm just going to need heat. Like, there's no other way of, you know, getting around it. Um, there's a 60TP, 277, E5, Yakpanzi um, <laughs> 100. You're just going to need heat. Like, APCR isn't really going to cut it. Even though it's a very, very good APCR round, it's not that great really, is it? against uh, heavy tanks. And uh, we've now loaded the first shell. 
We didn't pen. Oh, another thing about this tank, which I completely forgot about until now, it takes a lot, and I mean a lot, of HE and RT damage. Like a, a very, very large amount. Um, okay, well, I can't really play here because I don't have turret armor. So... And I'm also just going to get pet well, not penned by RT, but I'm going to get hit by RT for a, a lot. Um... Well, I mean... Yeah, we take one from that. I mean, what do you want me to do? I have to try and get out of here, so... This tank is just so awkward to play. Like, it's not flexible. It's not flexible, it's not enjoyable. <laughs> it's one of those lines where you just shouldn't even bother grinding down. They're just not... They're not worth it in the long run. Like, you'll be much... There's so many better tanks that... <laughs> do you know what? Even if... Even if you have every single tank in the game, I still wouldn't say you should go and grind this. But it is that bad. It is just one of those tanks that is just a complete waste of time to go and grind down. Because it's, it's probably, like, the worst tier 10 in the game. And I said the Gorilla 15 was the worst tier 10 in the game. But like, this thing is worse than the Gorilla 15. Like, I apologise that I said the Gorilla 15 was the worst tier 10. This thing is awful. Right now, I would love to be hold down, but it's 705 A's. But I cannot do that in this tank. Like, there's hardly anything you can actually, like, reliably do, apart from die. I am thinking about crossing this, actually. I see somewhat of an opening. Of course, that misses. Because, uh, why would it hit? I'm just going to have to take the shot here. I'm going to have to take the... Really? Come on. Uh, once again, I am in very much enjoying my teammates. And now I have a lovely long reload as well, which is just beautiful. In four seconds, I can put one into this guy. Nice shot, Max. Well done. Thank you, artillery. Um... Maybe I can, like, bait a shot or something from this guy? I don't know. I'm just going to wait for the reload. And then we'll see. <laughs> oh, it's so painful. I know I should have probably just waited for this reload, but... Oh my god. Jesus, man. Well, I mean, it's dead, I suppose. It just never has DPM. It's like... <sighs> I don't know. Literally any other tank and I'd be happy in that situation. Or not happy, but I'd be better in that situation. You know? <sighs> right. Very just amazing tank, really. Apply. That's our first ever win in five games. Well done, Max. Well, we're now in Muravanka. And 
I mean, at least we get to tier 8, so there's that, I guess. Um, well, we can stay with APCR. I mean, the APCR is good enough. Like, the only good thing is that it's fast. But there's nothing else good about this tank. Like, I'm genuinely struggling for, like, words to describe this tank. Don't know if I got spotted for that. I don't I think so. Oh, he has gone unspotted though. I'm a little bit worried about what's at the back of the map. Well, there is no way I am pushing that. Not without a little bit more information first. I mean, Scorpion G, I should. 152 will probably be back there. Yeah, there'll be a few dangerous tanks. Oh, it's the BZ-176, a uh, tier 8 that has a lot more armor than me. Wonderful. Just a well-designed uh, tank on both ends of the scale, really. Can I overmatch him? I have a 127. Do I need 130? I mean, the APCR is nice. It's like the only redeeming feature about this. And the speed. The APCR is good and the speed. There you go. Two redeeming features about the Renosciante. Wonderful. All right. I know my armor is pretty bad, but it's not BZ pen bad. Wait. There we go. I'm just gonna have to fire here because I need to get the damage in. There we go. I know it's, you know, ruined the DPM entirely, but I just need to get the damage done. It's like, I don't mind the auto-reloading mechanic. What I don't like is, one, the lack of shells in the tank, and two, the amount, the amount of reload. Like, the reload is so bloody long. Um, I don't think there's a shot here. Maybe I can shoot this guy. I don't actually know. I, I think you need 130 to overmatch him. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just 123 and great. I'm honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head, the BZ's roof. Nice. I mean, that's good. I mean, we're not going to be winning this game, but we've done damage. Somehow. Awful shot. I don't even really want to fire at this guy, to be honest. Oh, wonderful. God, I would love it if I could uh, switch to HE right now, but, you know. Oh, well, it's fine. I wanted to try and get a bit more damage done here. No. 4.4k, good enough. I would have felt so much more confident in literally any other tier 10. Maybe not any other tier 10, but I mean, like an ST2 in that kind of scenario, I wouldn't have really felt great either, but 
The fact that you're comparing this thing to an ST2 is worrying. Like, as I said, I don't have a problem with the auto reloader mechanic. It's fine. It doesn't need to be this bad, though. Like, a little bit of a reload time buff, a little bit of dispersion buff as well would be nice. Because, I mean, this is a bounty stab with a directive on top, so I'm getting minus 30% dispersion. Like, and it still doesn't feel great. <laughs> and look, I don't care about the armor too much, but like it shouldn't be so easy to pen it. Like they should have to hit the weak spot here. If you've given a tank a weak spot, please make the rest of it not a weak spot. Like this should be like 350 to 360 millimeters thick. It should be like a 50-50 if you go through it with 350 heat. But that is how, how good the turret should be. And then you just leave the weak spot as it is. So that they have to hit the weak spot because it is penable. But the problem is that at the moment you just shoot the turret with heat and it's dead. Like it doesn't have any armor whatsoever. Not to mention it can't even side scrape because everything's rounded on this. So as soon as it side scrapes, you just open this area up and you pen it. It's an abysmal machine. <laughs> it really is awful. Well, we're on Lakeville, so I... Yeah, I'm going to go to the valley. Like, it's kind of pointless me going to the city. Because once you go to the city, you just get stuck. And then it's no fun. I'd rather be stuck in the valley, to be honest. We load heat from the start. Go valley. And just try and remain somewhat safe. Um, at least we'll get there fast enough so we can actually go up. Uh, by the way, you should never go along the lines. There is someone already up there. Which is probably the manticore. Oh, that probably the EBR, sorry. Not the Manticore. The Manticore's never going to get up there in that time. Yep, 382 with stun from artillery. Which is uh, just wonderful. Good. I mean, if this guy picks up, he should be getting shot at. Man, I'd feel so confident if I was in any other tank to take a shot at the Capoda here. <laughs> Man. How do you peek over so much and get away with it? I have to just take my shots as and when I can, I guess. Okay. I am worried about going too far back. I know the E3 is pushed up a bit, but I don't know if there's anything else like right there, which is then quite worrying. I want to see if I can get him when he pushes forwards too much to get a shot off. I do get a lovely shot there. Yeah, there's the Jack Panzer at the back, which is uh, not really what you want to see, to be honest. That was a bad shot by me. You can pen the side of the gun really, really easy. That is worth taking the shot, but I should keep my last shell. Unless he does something extremely dumb. Yeah. What do you think I'm doing? Okay. That's fine. I mean, we're out trading the crown pretty easily at the moment. Once the crown dies, then we can actually move on to bigger and better things. Are you permatrap now? 
I take one to knock out the crown. I mean, I didn't really want to take that extra shell, but I'm taking it now. Now, I don't really think that it's beneficial for me to still sit up there. I can't even really spot this Yag Panzer. Okay. Um, right. Well, this is a bit painful. Man, we've been sitting here like... I would have killed that crown ages ago if I had armor and a gun. But that wasn't so slow. It's kind of mental to think about. Like, any other tank. If I was in... I mean, anything with gun depression, obviously. Because you wouldn't go there without gun depression. But, like, VZ-55? The Kran's gonna die. That's actually quite interesting to think about. The VZ-55 has about 20 second reload. For two shells. I have 14 seconds for one. With the same alpha. Actually, doesn't he have more alpha? I don't know. Do you have 490? I think he has 490. I want to see if I can spot this Jagdpanzer. That's not happening. If you didn't know, you can point your gun up. And the viewpoint is in your gun. So wherever your gun is, wherever you're pointing, that is where you can see out of and spot enemies. You can also have whatever the highest point is of your tank model. Um, like the Capola usually. I'm trying to uh, get some spots on these. Get them into proxy range. Like this. Nice. And hopefully I can just sit here. I don't think they can shoot me. I mean, maybe the Rhino can. Hmm. Actually, I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel safe doing that. I'm also a little bit scared of the uh, Jagdpanzer still. An E3 just fired. Can't see. Can't see his gun. You can pen just to the right and the left of the gun. There's a Jagdpanzer. Nice. I mean, at least we have him spotted now. Wonderful. Um, that is... Um, well, that's not very good. Is he pushing down or is he just going behind that? I mean, that's about as much as you can do. One, we didn't really have a team. And two, I'm not in a tank that can really deal with more than one person at a time. <laughs> to be honest, this tank struggles with one. <laughs> oh. Who thought that this was a good tank to introduce into the game? And when they buffed it, they still didn't buff it enough. I mean, I, do you know what? Actually, I take that back. I'm glad they didn't overbuff it. But like, come on, man. It's not hard. Well, I mean, there you go. After three games, we get 3.2k, 33% win rate. Overall now, we have 14% win rate. Lovely. I mean, we've hit 81%. And we have 2k damage. 
I would strongly advise against grinding the Rhinoceronto. Like, I would strongly advise against it. I have never struggled so hard in a tank. And it be in the meta class. At the moment, heavy tanks, meta. Like, by far. And this thing has speed. It has... Well, on, on paper, it has a gun that is decent. But sure, like... It's quite slow reload and stuff like that. And it's got 0.3 dispersion at 100 meters. Like, that's decent. But when you actually go and play the tank... It's bloody awful. It has an auto-reloading mechanic, which is just a bit gimmicky. In the sense of, like, the compensation mechanic on it like sure it saves you some time but most of the time it's better off just waiting for that shell rather than firing it but it has speed and it has a good gun when it works and that is it <laughs> <It's> <laughs> if this thing had a better turret it would be playable and as i said before in the previous you know while i was speaking about the turret it doesn't have to be op if you have this weak spot on top of the tank, which is always visible, by the way, always visible, you can pen this no matter what it is doing. As long as it is looking at you, you can pen it. And even if it's not looking at you, you can just pen it in the gun. So even if they made these side bits like 500 millimeters thick, it would still not be OP because this gun is not well armored. Like it's super easy to pen and you can pen on top of it. So as soon as it starts looking at you to fire, you can return fire back. It's, and I'm not saying make it 500 minutes thick. I'm saying like make it, you know, 350, 360, something like that. It's just, at the moment, I don't, you should not grind this thing. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time and effort to get all the way up to tier 10 and have the tier 10 be absolutely poo. Anyway, that's my, that's my opinion on it. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out greatly. Come join the Discord down below if you uh, would like to hang out down there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.